In this video, the TTP224 4-channel touch button module is interfaced with Arduino and programmed for touch-based applications. The 4-channel touch module is based on the IC TTP224, which is a capacitive touch detector. The module has four capacitive touch buttons with outputs that can be connected directly to a microcontroller. The buttons on the module operate either in direct mode or toggle mode. In direct mode, when we touch the button, we will have logic 1, and when we release, we will have logic 0. In toggle mode, when we touch the button, we will have logic 1, and when we touch it again, we will have logic 0. By default, the buttons operate in direct mode. We can get the toggle mode by putting a jumper between these two terminals here. This module replaces the mechanical buttons, thus eliminating the problem of switch bouncing. In this video, the module is uh, connected to the Arduino using four digital pins, where outputs 1, 2, and 3 are connected to pins 3, 4, and 5, and output 4 is connected to interrupt pin 0. We also have three LEDs connected to three digital pins of the Arduino. The buttons on the module are programmed so that when we do a short touch of button 1, the red LED will start blinking and touching button 4 will turn off the LED. When we touch button 1 with short hold, the blue LED will start blinking and touching 4 will turn off the LED. When we touch button 1 with long hold, then the yellow LED will start blinking and touching 4 will turn off the LED. A quick touch of button 2 will give us a fast blinking of the blue LED and when we do a touch and hold it will give us a slower blinking. The more we hold the slower the blinking will be. Touching 4 will turn off the LED. Finally a quick touch of button 3 will give us a fast pulsating of the blue LED. When we do a touch and hold it will give us a slower pulsating of the blue LED and touching 4 will turn off the LED. And now for a quick demonstration. A quick look at the C++ code used in this project. Within the loop function, if we touch uh, button 1, then uh, the program will jump to this uh, function LED toggle. Inside function LED toggle, we calculate the key press period. And accordingly, if we have a short touch, this uh, indefinite while loop will be executed where the red LED will start blinking. And when we press the interrupt button, this if statement will be executed and the uh, LED will turn off and the program will jump back to the loop function. For touch and short hold, this uh, while loop will be executed and the blue LED will start blinking. And for touch and long hold, this while will be executed and the yellow LED will start blinking. Back inside the loop function, if we touch button 2, this function LED toggle speed will be called and executed. Inside function LED toggle speed, we calculate the key press period and go into this indefinite while loop where we will uh, blink the LED and the speed of the blinking will depend on the key press period here. And again, when we press the interrupt button, the LED will turn off and uh, the program jumps back to the loop function. Back inside the loop function, if we touch button 3, this function 
LED pulsating speed will be called and executed. Inside function LED pulsating speed, we calculate the key press period and go into this indefinite while loop where the LED will pulsate and the speed of pulsating depends on the key press period. In a future video, I'll be demonstrating the TTP229 module, which has 16 touch buttons. Thank you for watching.